sorry for yourself for that 10 seconds. How many times do you do that in a practice room? Okay? If you end up doing that enough and you waste 10 minutes of practice, 12 minutes of practice, okay? Let's keep it easy. Say you have 100 practices. You waste 12 minutes every practice. Okay? 12 times 100 is 1,200 minutes. Okay? Do the math. That's a lot. Okay? Those turn into hours that you have wasted. And I know that you're all young, okay, and you think that your time is unlimited, okay, and it's like, eh, whatever, and we don't have the greatest appreciation of time until you get in that big match, the one you really want. The one that you really want, okay, then it's crazy because for some reason time can't go fast enough in that match, right? Maybe we don't have the gas to go, right? right? We can't finish out the match. We haven't drilled as hard as we're supposed to be. Our technique isn't as good as it should be because we've wasted minutes that turn into hours. You need to think about that. And I don't want to make you crazy, freaky, and OCD about it, okay? But man, the guys that really want to win, the guys like Nathan Tomasello, the guys that have come through our club room, okay? No wasted time ever. Not a wasted second in the room, all right? And a guy like that is special. I get it, all right? But if you're aspiring to do the very best you can do, why would you waste any of your time? Why would you do that? Why would you waste any time being out of a wrestling state, being up here when you could be down here, right? It's your time. This is all your time. It's not my time, okay? It's your time. You're never, ever going to waste my time, okay? I'm doing something I love to do, right? It's never wasted time. Okay? Don't waste your time, right? And all I can tell you is no matter what happens, if you win the whole thing, Okay, at the end of your season or the end of your career, you win the whole thing. You're gonna be able to look back and go, okay, I left no stone unturned. I did everything I could do to make this happen. But if you don't win the whole thing, okay, if you take third or fifth or whatever it is in that big tournament, okay, if you can also look back and go, man, I left no stone unturned, then it'll be, you'll deal with it. You'll deal with it. And that's what I tell a lot of the guys. For me, fifth's good enough. It has to be. I have no choice, but I do feel like, I do feel like the last half of my college career, I was doing everything I could do, okay? So hey, I, I walk around proud of, what, of what, what I have. More proud of what I learned from, which is what I'm sharing with you, all right? And you can, it, you can take it or leave it, right? But it's for you. Try not to waste your time, right? And you're all excellent, excellent wrestlers, and you're really good people, and you go hard you want that little extra, make sure you don't waste any of your time. Does that make any sense? Right? Okay. Great day. Great job. Um, so yeah, we'll all, we'll reconvene tomorrow, right? Come in, temperature thing, uh, 10 to 10 to 10, okay? And we'll get at it, all right? But let's make sure tomorrow, okay, no matter what, we, we keep our really good focus. You're doing a good job, but you almost want it to be perfect. If not her. Okay? Any questions? Great job, fellas. All right, five on three. One, two, three. Five.